So we got to Fox Creek Trailhead this morning. It's a bit chilly, but we are setting up some trail magic. Hoping we get some hikers through in a little while. We're meeting some friends up. They said they'd be here about noon. So we've got a little time. Here we are. Here we go. Are you cold? A little chilly. Just a little. <laughs> oh, good times. So on Sunday, April 23rd, Vicki and I did a little hiker feed and we saw a lot of hikers. So we tried to write all their names down and we got most of them, I think. But um, yeah, we had to make notes or we never would have remembered. So we wanted to tell you a couple of stories about a couple of them. It was so much fun. So the first guy we met was Itchy Feet and he was part of a group called Veterans Warriors, yeah. I believe. And so they're sponsored and it's lots of veterans in a team that are out hiking. Well, Itchy Feet was a little bit ahead of the rest of the group, thus the name. What you guys do. Sure. Absolutely. It really makes a difference, I'll tell you. Yeah, drop any trash you want. Yeah. yeah. Do you need water or anything? Before you mm, water? No, I got, I got plenty of water, believe it or not. Yeah. All right, good, good. Yeah, they, uh, you know, I am getting used to drinking their water from out there. I think Are it's... You? super clean it is cool. so do you filter it a little bit yes. yeah good i got a filter in there and uh i mean they told us hey you can drink that water the way it is but just to make sure yeah i don't know uh, yeah but it's it's so good yeah nice yes That's nice yes. awesome yes so itchy feet told us a story about his son he's got a three-year-old son and his birthday party was right before he left on the trail and on the birthday cake was this little um, dinosaur. And so he named him... Melvin. Melvin. So Melvin's going along with him and Itchy Feet was taking pictures at every um, stop or... Any trail angels. Yep. Just, um, all the cool spots. Yeah. And then the he could show markers. his son where all Melvin had been. So, like I said, he was a cake topper. So he's about this big. So the wife said... I want you to take this, but don't let them let our son know because he'll be very upset. <laughs> he'll cry. <laughs> he'll cry, yeah. So. Anyway, that was a great story. So who did we meet next? Mac and Stick Shift came next. Gosh, I don't even remember them. They were the two nice gentlemen, two nice young men. Oh. And the other guy, Haas, that was with them was very impressed by him. Yeah, when the kid, yeah, so Haas was probably in his 60s, and the kids were probably in their early 20s. Yes. And so when the young man left, he said, those are sure nice young men. He was just very impressed. But they were, though. They were extremely polite, very, very fun, very cute kids. It's very fun. You ask somebody their name, and they automatically give you their trail name. Yep. Never, ever think to give you their name. Miles and miles. I was going to say, they go forever. Does, does anybody actually take care of them? They, they collect them all once a year and do, give them checkups and whatnot, but I think they, I think they manage them yeah, to a point. I wanted to run, run into a few of them back, and... Yeah, they look healthy. Yeah. They're yeah. healthy. Their feet are really good. Usually mm -hmm. you think their feet never been trained to be running over, but they they, they, they good. Yeah, they definitely I did see trim. one that had a tough turn. So at that point in the day, yeah. we had muffins and fruit. We had water in a charging station and a hand washing station. Um, we had cookies and chips and stuff Candy like that. Candy galore. I think we had the lunch stuff out, but yes. we were still working on the soup. But it was early in the day, so everybody pretty much ate breakfast. They a lot of bananas. Well, they ate the bananas first. That went first. All the strawberries, they all the grapes. bananas. Yeah. So then Levi, a guy pulled up and he said, are y'all doing trail magic waiting on A-OK? -okay? We said, yeah, we are. He said, cool. Tell him I said hi. And I said, well, are you hungry? Do you need anything? Nope. Save that for the hikers. Just wanted to stop and leave a message. That was pretty random. So at that point we realized it had been mentioned on trail that there was going to be trail magic, but nobody before that knew or expected it. Or I don't know if maybe Levi was actually a friend of A-OK. -okay. I'm, I'm not sure. He ran in, met him on the trail a couple of times, he said. Oh, okay. All right, so, so that's kind of random. So where we were was at Fox Creek Trailhead, which is 100 miles from absolutely nothing. 
No, I mean, it's just really out in the middle of nowhere, no cell phone reception in Virginia. So we were a little bit over the 500 mile mark on the Appalachian Trail. So it's just a pretty random place to stop. <laughs> So next we had Freeze. Is he the one that came down and said that mm -hmm. Redbird needed help? Yeah, he came down. He was really nice. He was an older man. I say older. He was our age. And uh, he just said, well, I was kind of, I, I knew there was going to be trail magic down here. They mentioned it. And I was kind of hoping there would be a strapping young man to, to go out and help out Redbird because <laughs> she's struggling. She, she's really struggling. And Vicky said, I'll help. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't really do that, but, and off she went. So she went up about, what, six-tenths of a mile, maybe a little more? Yeah. And took Redbird's um, pack and carried it down the hill for her. So that was pretty cool. So um, you you might, with kind of the last part's easier. Yeah. You know, I think she kind of made it to most of the rocks by the time I saw her. was struggling. So I, I mean, I hate to have you go up there for half a mile up and half a mile. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You sure. Okay. She's she's tough. Is she? Yeah. Good. <laughs> well, then if you're tough, run. <laughs> it was fun. So when Redbird got down to the part where we were, and she saw us with all that food and chairs and stuff, she literally just kind of busted out crying. So that was well needed. I think she needed to see that at that point yes. in her hike. So she was hiking with our friend, a okay. Her channel name is AOK -OK Foraging and Adventure. She's why we chose that specific spot this year to do the hiker feed, is because I knew she would be coming through there. She's doing a, a section hike in to raise money and awareness for the Diabetes Association. So I thought that was pretty cool and I wanted to help her out if I could. So we did. So they got down there and by then of course the soup was ready and everybody munched out and had a good time. Those are the people she's waiting on? Mm -hmm. Great. Right? <laughs> so we forgot to mention before that, there's two guys from New York that came down. And those are the only two I forgot to write their names down. And I cannot remember. But they had the best story. I'll try to make it brief. They had been friends since kindergarten. They grew up together their whole life. They went to Boy Scouts together, to, to church together. I can't remember everything they did together growing up. One of them was 67 and one was 66. So they went to college together, separate colleges, but they roomed together when they went to college. Anyway, so now they're hiking the Appalachian Trail together. So I thought that was pretty cool. One of the men told me he hiked the trail in 1982 with his wife. So I asked him what, what were the biggest changes since then. And he said, well, for one thing, there was nothing like this, no trail magic at all. And also back then there was a lot more road walking and the trail was, yeah, it wasn't as submerged in nature like it is now. But those were the biggest changes really. And then of course the amount of people who were on the trail. And then the group came through Magic Poncho, Rat, Couch to Trail, Granny Gear. There was a yeah. bunch of them came through. Yeah, there. they were kind of all together. Now, Couch to Trail also has a YouTube channel. She was, this was her day 75 when she met up with us on the trail. So it took her 75 days to go a little over 500 miles. Well, I watched a little bit of her channel. She did have to get off for an injury for a few days. So that kind of set her back, but she's doing great. She looked great, she looked strong, she looked ready to go. So go check out her channel if you want to, and check out Day 75. Um, we might be on it, you never know. <laughs> now, and how many else were on with that group? Like, I think Soundbite, Soundbite Frosty, Drive Through. Frosty and Drive Through were a couple, and they they moved on. Okay. And then that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Billy Goat and Yoga and Turtle and Pup came through and hung out with Chattahoochee and Miss Puerto Rico and them. And, and I don't remember that was with that really big group, so we didn't get to talk to each one of them very much when there was a lot right. of them. Right. But it was P.T. Bart, No Name, Billy Goat. Oh well, when. When these guys came through, they stayed, and we got to chat with them and get to know them. Billy Goat on down, what, 
what was his name? Chattahoochee. Um, those guys were a riot. Miss Puerto Rico. And they had a Nimic. few beers. Yeah, by this time of, in the day, they were having a few beers. So, And telling stories on each other from, yeah, it was fun. Huh. Um, Turtle came through with Pup. Pup is the oldest dog to hike the Appalachian Trail. And this is her second time to hike it. So, so. when she was 11, I think he said, she hiked, through hiked the entire trail, except for the parts that they don't let dogs, which is the Great Smokies and like one other place in the Shenandoahs. But um, they're attempting it again, and Pup is, what, 15? But she seemed to be she having did. fun. I mean, she knew what she was doing. And Jukebox and Luna, and they were all together, and they wiped us out of food. Right. They, they cleaned it out. We told them we were about to leave, and they're like, okay. So one of them made a sandwich with everything that was left. <laughs> I think it had some Doritos on it. it there had... was horseradish and mustard and Doritos and red onions and lettuce and green peppers and olives and <laughs> what yeah a pickle just whatever was left oh and then they passed around the pickle cheese and, and they take it all can i can i have a swig off of that i mean it was so funny it was it like was, passing a whiskey bottle yeah but it was pickle juice so that was, was fun that was hysterical. so there was one orange left one little cutie and one of the girls um <laughs> we've been calling no poop uh She's like, well, can I take that? And then she said, no, because that guy from Belgium's going to be coming through. I better leave it. And we said, we're packing up. We're, we're leaving. There's nothing left. And she's like, well, then I'm taking it. And here comes the guy from Belgium. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but we did have something to give Belgium. We had three muffins, and he mm -hmm. took two sodas. And he said that worked out great because his addiction is soda. So he was yeah, so happy. Two sodas and chat with us. So. Yeah, the trail does seem to provide whatever somebody needs whenever they need it so that's kind of cool how that works and he was very interesting he stayed and talked to us for a half an hour mm -hmm. so. yeah but he was from Belgium and he <laughs> came down the hike the Appalachian Trail did he say he was going to go as far as he could until his time ran out or no he planned on hiking the whole thing awesome. before his time ran out yep so so anyway that is uh it in a nutshell like I said it was a great day it was a lot of fun we met some of the coolest people. We did. And it's just very neat to be the, a small part of their adventure, I guess, and to know that we made a difference. But thank you very much for watching and coming along with us on our little adventure. It's been so much fun. It's been so much fun. So I don't know if I'll do trail magic again next year. We'll see. I mean, it is 1,100 miles or something crazy <laughs> like that to, to come feed people. But um, I'm glad that we did it this year because it was so much so fun. fun. Yep. All right, y'all stay lost, my friends. Stay yeah. someplace like this.